Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 57 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we're going to establish a cocoa bean farm. And a cocoa bean farm is going to give us a nice steady supply of, well, cocoa beans. And cocoa beans will allow us to do two things. Number one, we'll be able to use those cocoa beans to dye white wool and make a brown wool, which is also known as the infamous poop block. And number two, no pun intended, and number two, we shall be able to make a nice steady supply of cookies, chocolate chip cookies. We get dessert with every meal, finally, because before Minecraft 1.3, cocoa beans were a very rare commodity. You could only find them in dungeon chests, but now we can find them in jungles, and we can harvest them, and we can, uh, we can grow our own. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to establish our own farm right back here next to Cozy Cottage, or at least over by our farming area. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Let's make sure we have all the proper gear to establish this farm. So get as many bones as you have. We're going to need bone meal to grow the jungle trees that we're going to use to grow our um, cocoa beans on, because cocoa bean pods will only grow on jungle trees. So what else do we need? Um, I have some white wool here to show you how to dye. Um, the color of the brown wool there, wheat to make the cookies, and we'll need axes to chop down some trees, to clear some land, and bring some food and some water and some fire. Yeah, you don't need all that, but torches, shears will also help along the way, because the first thing we need to do is get over to the jungle and, um, and get some uh, cocoa beans to get started with. We'll also need jungle tree saplings, and I'm going to bring Tang along with me, and maybe a dog as well. Now we need the jungle tree saplings so that we can grow jungles here because as I said, the cocoa beans only grow on jungle trees. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put the uh, the farm right over there near my farming area. And how about if we bring Sammy? Okay, now let's go. So we'll need our own jungle trees. And now I do realize that we have a jungle and we've been there before in my other prior tutorials is a jungle over in that direction. In fact, that's where we found Tang. Well, before he was a domesticated cat, Tang was a ocelot. <laughs> and uh, we went to that jungle and found him. But unfortunately, because this map was generated with an older version of Minecraft, Minecraft 1.0 to be uh, exact, to be precise, it, those that jungle will not have the new Coco pod plants because cocoa pods were added in 1.3 whoa nice turbo charge there so that jungle over there will not have cocoa pods what we need to do is generate a new jungle on this map and that means we have to go to an unexplored area and i know there is one down in that direction because i've already done some research so that's what we're going to do i'm going to head over in that direction we're going to find the jungle we're going to collect some saplings and some cocoa pods to get started some cocoa seeds and then we'll bring them back here and we'll build up the farm and we'll take it from there. So just uh, just follow along. I'm going to run in south. Direction F. See that F coordinate there on the left-hand side is zero. That is south. That's where we want to go. It's a few, minute, a few minutes away. So, well, let's go. Voila! Jungle. Minecraft 1.3 style jungle to be precise. And that is exactly what we wanted. Let's just go and make a beacon here. Ow. We should probably eat since I'm not healing. A little steak dinner. See, a cookie right now would just be fabulous. Unfortunately, 
I don't have any yet. Ow. <laughs> okay, let's get... <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for cookies. I can't control myself. Let's get over to this jungle. Let's harvest those beans. Let's get back and make our own jungle. It's going to be a heck of a lot easier harvesting beans in our own jungle than going... Bringing the jungle home rather than going to the jungle. Now, please ignore the curious and mysterious looking sandstone structure here in the jungle. We'll get to that in a future episode. Just suffice, suffice it to say that there's some goodies. There may be some goodies inside, but there might be some, some danger inside as well. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a future tutorial. For right now, let's focus on cocoa beans. So here we go. I see some growing. Oh, here's some right here. Excellent. I'm going to use my shears just to get rid of these vines because I want some vines to bring back with us. So here we have two cocoa pod plants growing. And these are actually, these These look like stage two. There are three stages of growth. There's, uh, there's the baby, there's the teen, I think these are teen, and then there's the fully grown adult. If you harvest before they're fully grown, you only get one cocoa bean. Um... So you want to wait till you get the adult. The adult will give you three every single time. And they grow very rapidly. So I'm not too concerned about it. I want you guys to stay here because I'm afraid you're going to fall in the water and drown it or something. Um, well, you know, while I'm here, let's grab some ferns too. We can use those for decoration. Here's some fully grown adults. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of these vines. Let's take some jungle leaves as well. So here we have a fully grown adult. I can harvest this with pretty much anything. And when you hit it, you note that it lights up. Kind of cool. And it drops three cocoa beans. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go over here and let's harvest these guys. I'm going to harvest you with cocoa beans. So every time from the adults, we will get a guaranteed three. Now, see here's if we take the little guy there, we only get one. So we can poof it with our... Oops, hey, little lag there. We can hit it with some bone meal to make it fully grown adult and get the full yield. And there really aren't too many more, are there? I hope there's one over there. I would like to get about uh, 24 or so. All right, these are... Oh, there's a baby up top. So that's stage one, stage two, stage three. Let's go get these. Let those other ones grow. And now, while those other ones are growing, I'm going to go and get some some jungle tree. Because, again, we want saplings to bring back with us so we can grow our own trees. Oh, zombie. I hear a growl. It's not my stomach. So hopefully we'll get some saplings falling down on me. Let's put a torch here. So I think I might cut some of this out because we still have quite a ways to go. I haven't gotten very far yet, so you get the idea. So right now we want jungle wood, we want jungle saplings. Let's get at least one jungle sapling to fall, and I'll show you what that looks like. I think we've probably done that before, but just in case. There's a jungle sapling. Got one. All right, so jungle sapling is here. And we're going to want probably six or seven jungle saplings, I think. Okay, I think we're good to go. I've got just about everything I need. I've got 37 cocoa beans, 7 jungle saplings. I grabbed some vines, some jungle leaves, a bunch of ferns, and even some grass. Let me grab some more grass. You never know when you're going to want this stuff, and I don't want to have to come back to the jungle. All right, let's go. Of course, grass grows everywhere anyway, but ferns are kind of difficult to find. And yes, once again, please ignore that mysterious structure to the right. Now let's head back to Cozy Cottage. I will see you there. Remember, we're just going to go back uh, toward 2. That's north. And uh, if you put the beacons up, just follow the beacons. I'll see you back at home. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. Alright, let me show you what we can do with cocoa beans and white wool. So, we can use a cocoa bean on a sheep. I need a volunteer. Anybody? Bueller. There we go. Good job. Right click with cocoa beans and you get a brown sheep. Shear it and we get brown wool, aka poop blocks. We can also do this. Put a cocoa bean and a brown and a white wool 
in the crafting area and we get brown wool like so pretty cool stuff but i can't eat sheep and i can't eat brown wool so it's not going to make very good dessert especially since it's called poop loss it's not something i really want to try ever so let's just get rid of you okay let's go over to the farming area because i have a spot chosen for our jungle and uh, slash cocoa bean farm right over here by the farms and what i'm going to do now is after i have a lovely steak dinner sadly without cookies for dessert <laughs> i'm going to clear out this spot right here i've this looks good by the water nice green grass i think that would be appropriate for it. jungle trees and um yeah, then we'll build up and we'll establish the farm itself you got i almost right clicked you with my cooked steak get out of the water tang all right so why don't we do that right now i'm just going to get get a chopping i'm going to take these trees out and hopefully we get a couple of red apples which is a uh, a drop from oak trees occasionally when the leaves decay because i have a, a plan for a future episode of a tutorial so i'm going to do that right now we're going to speed it up a little bit so here we go Okay, so now we just wait for these leaves to decay. And I'm probably going to help these along a little bit along the way. The birch aren't going to drop apples, but um, some people seem to think that if you break the leaves, you have a you lower the chances of getting an apple. Others say it increases the probability of getting an apple. But uh, in my experience, it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> I think it's, it's like 1 in 2 hundred chance oh there's an apple huh. well my luck is strong today but you know what i'm gonna have to help these hey look at that check it out three apples that's perfect i need to help these along anyway because uh, we're running out of daylight and i want to get this farm set up before it gets dark so i'm gonna clear all these out and i'll be right back Okay, I think we're ready to start building the farm. So let's go get all the supplies that we need. I have some jungle wood here. I'm going to turn these into planks. This is what I like to call cherry wood. It's got a nice cherryish color. And we're going to need some slabs. I think that ought to do. Let's make one extra there. And we will make some stairs. And I think we're good to go there. Put the steak here. We don't need that. Let's get some bone meal ready to roll. Okay. Now, if you uh, you are familiar with my Survive and Thrive series, then you know I like things that are small and compact and, and that look nice. I don't need gigantic. I don't need uh, ridiculously efficient. I, in other words, I don't need 3,000 cocoa beans per minute. I don't need them automatically harvested. <laughs> I don't need them delivered to my front door. I like things that look nice, part of the natural world, and I will go and handpick them myself. So, a nice small farm, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to put down some jungle saplings. I, I've arranged them in uh, kind of a pattern here, and now we're just going to grow them with bone meal. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll plant our cocoa seed pods. I mean, let's face it. Do we really need 3,000 cocoa beans? We don't need a lot of cookies because cookies are low in protein. They're sugary, and they go right to your waistline, right? So moderation is the key here, folks. So now I'm just going to hit these trees, hopefully I get nice tall trees. Oh, that's a little low, but that's okay. So now we have somewhat of a level effect. Uh, we've got some tall ones. We've got some short ones. And now what we're going to do is take this, and um, let's just clear some of these out. Now use the, use the uh, shears here because we might do a little bit of tweaking later so this way we'll get some of these some of these uh, jungle leaves so that we can, um, we can make it look look a little nicer later on if we have to okay now let's get our slabs and I'm thinking of a little platform here that we can walk around on while we harvest our cocoa beans 
And I think the best way to do this is from the ground. We'll work our way all the way around. And I think let's just go right across here. Not sure how this is going to look until I get up on top, but we do want to be able to walk along the entire thing. And I might need some more of these. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, we can actually leave a couple of spaces here. Um, for a workbench. Yeah, I'm going to need a few more, I think. Oh, darn it. Okay, you know what? <laughs> That's not quite perfect. All right, let's um, let's just go make a couple more. Uh, I need you. Six ought to do. And again, I'm not sure how this is going to look until we get up top. We're going to do that in one moment. Go there. And I think we need one there and one there. And one there. Okay, that's cool. Now we need a way to get up. So let's make some stairs over here. And why don't we put the stairs um, right here? What's up, pig? There we go. And my first upside down stairs ever. Ta da! That's cool. So that looks nice. All right, now we need to get up here with our shears and just make a path. And it's starting to get dark. Now, I like this platform because it gives us a little bit of security and get off the ground. Plus, it'll look nicer, I think, when we're up here doing our harvesting. How did Piggy get up here? You little punk. There he goes. Now, let's um, let's put it towards up here so we can see what the devil we're doing. Um, I'm going to put a torch right here. And a torch right there. Let's pick this stuff up. Okay, let's just clear out all these here so we can walk through here unhindered. And wow, maybe we don't need all these jungle leaves. I did want to get some of these so we can do some, uh, some landscaping. Like over here, for example. See, this is what's going to happen. Um, I don't want all these holes up here. That looks silly. So we're going to... Fill that up. There we go. And these I'll just break. I don't need any more, I don't think. Clear those away. Make a little room. And you know what? Let's put those there. A little fine tuning here. Um, I don't have much of a green thumb, and I'm not much of a landscaper either, but eh, that looks okay. All right, let's just step back and take a look at the jungle and see how it looks. Not too shabby. All right, so now the fun part, we need to grow the actual cocoa beans. So all you do is put them in your hand and just plop them on the tree like that. Just right-click, you'll get a, a baby cocoa pod yellow one and I'm just gonna go right all the way around these are solid blocks by the way and they will block you when they're fully grown but that's okay so yeah I mean you could go up higher one more if you like but I think this is gonna be fine because the whole point of once you get up here is you're gonna be harvesting them anyway you're not gonna be walking around here uh, throwing parties or anything and maybe you will I guess you could do that okay that's everybody so now, as a test, watch when you hit this. Look at that. They're growing already. Lovely. So now watch. When you hit one of these, it will, it will stop your progress. Because it does qualify as a solid block. All right. I just wanted to make a couple of these uh, full-size adults because I like that little glow effect. And let's back up a little bit. Let's see how it looks. That's kind of cool. I would probably take some of these jungle leaves and maybe um, tweak that side a little bit. You know, just for aesthetic purposes, it might look a little nicer. And we could put some torches underneath as well so we don't get bad guys spawning down there. And yeah, I'm thinking, you know, whoops. I like the way things... I like to make things look nice. 
There we go. And here comes the rain, which is actually quite appropriate for a jungle, so that's not so bad. And there we have it. So once again, all you have to do is break these guys. Get your cocoa beans, and you are good to go. Now, I want to move... I'm gonna move this over here. We can even do something underneath. Like you could maybe make a little pond. I don't know, a fish pond or a fountain or maybe even grow mushrooms or something under there. Hey, dude. Get him, dog. Thanks for the bones. Perfect timing. And why don't we put... I'm going to put a chest and a workbench right here right into the very platform and then we can keep our tools and stuff right in here extra bone meal bones rather we'll put some jungle leaves in here um, I may take some of these back with me the vines maybe we can spread some vines around yeah we can put some stuff underneath as well make it look more jungly we can even do that right around actually we can just do like that throw some ferns down here I might throw some water in there as well later. I don't know. How's that look? That's kind of coolish. Yeah, there we go. It's jungly. It's quite jungly. And maybe some vines. Did I put the vines away? No, here's my vines. Uh, put some vines here, maybe. And even up on the tree itself. These will grow and hang down. They'll look kind of neat. So again, there are automated farms out there where you can use pistons to move the actual tree trunk and you can harvest these automatically, uh, which is pretty cool and you don't need a lot of space for it. They're very efficient. Uh, personally, that's not my style. I like doing things that look nice and, and realistic and natural. That's why I make my farms like this. So, But there you have it. Oh, let's make some cookies now, right? We deserve some cookies after all that hard work. And this is quite simple. It's just a cocoa bean in the center. And hold on. All right, we're going to have to do something about you guys getting up here. Aren't we? You be dead. Okay, let's try this again without interruption. Cocoa bean in the middle. Wheat on the sides. And that's how we bake cookies, folks. We get eight cookies. Cookies are not very uh a very good food source they're they again they're yummy they're scrumptious but uh they do go right to the waistline it's not something that you want to eat all the time but um you can stack these up in stacks of 64. they don't provide a whole lot of they do provide i think one full meat pop uh, right now i'm not hungry so i can't demonstrate that but they used to be half a heart uh, half a half a meat pop they're now a full meat pop um, which isn't so bad, but their saturation is really poor. It's not a very good food source, in other words. But, I mean, what the heck. If you're going to have a nice meal, you want to top it off with uh, something delicious. So, all right. I think that's pretty much it for the cocoa bean farm, my friends. And there it is. And again, we could just maybe uh, tweak that up a little bit. With some bushes we can even put some of these around the exterior make it a little more uh jungly so there we have it pretty cool stuff and i'm gonna just log out up here out of the rain and say goodbye thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did a thumbs up is very much appreciated and i'll see you all next time have a nice day Bye bye